the whole humans and the animals will die from the trumpet. Everything that hears the trumpet will die. The jinns will die. Iblis will be the last to die. But he will die, he will die by the destruction of the earth, of the, of the world. He will not stay until the day of resurrection. To, he, he tried to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow him to stay till the day we are resurrected. Oh my Lord, let me stay till the day they are resurrected, day of judgment. Allah said, You will be left alive until the known day. Some people say, well, how did Allah accept the dua of Iblis when he is Iblis? He did not accept his dua. He rejected his dua. Iblis wanted to live to the day of resurrection. Allah said, you will live to the last hour only. You are going to be destroyed with all, every other evil. That's when your time is. Because you are the root of evil. I'm going to destroy you. In one narration it says that the angel of death comes to take Iblis's soul out and Iblis runs to all the corners of the earth and he finds the angel of death there. And he dies. He's taken away. Iblis doesn't want to die. You see? He doesn't want to die. He thinks he's still got hope. And that feeling, he puts it, or he, this is what he whispers into the minds of the human beings. Don't worry. You're going to live more. You got long days to go. Don't worry. Still young now. Person 70 years old says he's still going to live. Don't worry. He's 80. He's still going to live. He's on his deathbed at the hospital. Don't worry. They say you're going to die, but there's still some hope. You're probably still going to live. Enjoy life. Have a little bit more of enjoyment. Don't worry about worship right now. Yes, the shaitan does that because that's his characteristic. And when the angel of death comes to take his soul, he runs away. He thinks he's not going to die. He thinks he can escape. Subhanallah. So when everything on earth dies, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroys the universe. And then he says to the angel of death, Allah then tells the angel of death, orders him to take Jibreel alayhi salam's soul out. This narration, I am not sure of its authenticity, but I did hear it from several sheikhs in my time, including the late Sheikh Kishk, rahmatullahi alayhi. He's a renowned scholar in Egypt. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. The point is, they said that the hadiths are that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will command the angel of death to take the soul of Jibreel alayhi salam out. The, the heavens and shake and they say, Jibreel yamut, Jibreel dies. They are silenced and the angel of death takes his soul out. Then Mikael. Then Israfil, then the angel of death takes his own soul out. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala begins to address, call out to the criminals of the world, such as Pharaoh and Namrud and the, and, uh, the, the, the tyrants of the world. Where are you? Where are you, O oh disbelievers? Where are you, O oh so-and-so? Where are you, O oh criminals? O oh you who challenged me, where are you today? O oh you who thought you will overpower me? And then Allah says, Man baqi? Man baqi? Who is left? Who is left? Lam yabqa illa ana. Lam yabqa illa ana. I am the only one left. There's nothing else but me. Ana Allah. Ana al qahar. Ana al wahab. I am the overpowering. I am Allah. I am the everlasting. I am the all powerful. Ana al qawiyu al majid. Ana Malikul Mulk, I am the King of all kings. I am, I am. Subhanahu wa ta'ala praises himself with his attributes, with his glorious attributes and names. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one worthy of this praise, for he is the most glorious, most merciful in every way beyond our imagination. At that point, Rasul Sallallahu tells us that people stay dead for only Allah knows how long. Some hadiths say 40. The companions who narrate these hadiths say, we don't know, did he mean 40 days, 40 years, 40 months? Allahu Alam. But they stay dead for 40. 